Well, if you've ever wanted to see a ton of train boxes all at once, you're in the right place. Coming up right now on Eric's Trains. All right, so it is mid-March 2023, and we're on our way over to the storage facility where I keep all of my empty train boxes. I've got so many empty train boxes, I have to keep them off site. And the problem is that I've run out of space in my current storage cubicle. It's a 10 by 10 and it is just about full. And so I went ahead and upgraded to a 10 by 30. And today we're gonna move all those boxes from the 10 by 10 to the 10 by 30. Fortunately, it's on the same floor as my current unit. So we just have to move them down the hall. Should be pretty easy, but you're gonna be able to see a whole bunch of train boxes and We'll kind of see some of the hidden gems in my box collection, if you will. So we'll be there in just a minute and we'll check it out. Okay, we're at the storage place and I just realized I don't have the code for my new storage locker. And it's a Saturday, so the office is closed. Uh, I do know the property manager, so I'm gonna give him a call and uh, we'll see if he can help out. Hello? Hey Mike, uh, this is Eric Siegel. Um, I'm over at the storage facility um, and the office is closed today because it's a Saturday. And I don't have the code for my new storage locker uh, to get in the gate, I don't have the code. Um, could you, is there any way you could give me like the master code or something to get in so I can put my stuff in there? You can't tell anyone this code. Uh, it'll be our secret. Okay. Okay, what's the code? All right, the code is one. 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 Two. 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 Three. 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 Four. 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 Five. 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 So the code is one, two, three, four, five. Yes. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's the kind of combination an idiot would have on his luggage. All right, let's give it a try. One, two, three four, five. <laughs> it worked. Second floor, hardware, children's wear, ladies lingerie. All right, here's the old space. Yeah, so you can see why I'm upgrading. This little narrow space here is all that's left. This is a 10 by 10 space. <laughs> so we've got a couple carts and we're gonna start moving it down the hall to the new space. So these are the new spaces. It's a merged space is what they call it. So it's two 10 by 15s, but they're sold as one unit. So it's effectively a 10 by 30. So I've got two garage doors. So I think we're gonna start off by maybe putting Lionel on one side and MTH, Atlas, and Menards and other miscellaneous stuff on the other side, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try to organize it a bit. Now, a lot of people have said, oh, you should put it up on pallets, but I don't feel that's necessary. It would just waste space and I'd have to get all the pallets up here and everything because I'm on the top floor of this facility. And so, there's not any chance of it flooding, you know, from rain or anything like that. And if the sprinklers up above were to go off, well, pallets wouldn't protect my stuff. You know, I guess you could say the pallets might protect it from something being spilt in an adjacent unit, but I don't think that's gonna happen. This is at the end of the hallway and there's nobody next to me. That's an exterior wall, so I think we'll be just fine. And this is also a really nice storage facility. Uh, that's why I chose it because it's really very nicely maintained. It's climate controlled and it's insured. And so everything will be fine. Anyway, let's go ahead and start loading this up. And by the way, the ridiculousness that I have to have two 10 by 15 storage lockers for empty train boxes is not lost on me. It's pure craziness, but it is what it is. <laughs> so I guess we'll start with the MTH first, which is kind of on this side and then work our way over. Here's the passenger cars for the Norfolk Southern Office Car Special. And there's the locomotives. 
Amtrak turbo train, European stuff. Here's a Weaver Canadian National K5A. Very cool. Right, here's the first load. <laughs> Two carts, first of many. You know, Lionel just came out. They just reissued the MTH NASA rocket train. Well, this is the original. UP Heritage stuff. Now, you would think, you know, oh, you know, organize it so everything's, you know, you know where everything is and all this stuff. But experience with the last space has taught me that it's best to pack it sort of like Tetris, you know, trying to get as much use of every bit of space as you can. So that's what I'm going to do here. I mean, it's going to be organized loosely, you know, MTH. I've got tin plate stuff over there. And then Lionel will be in the one next door. But as far as, you know, organizing by model numbers and stuff like that, yeah, that's not going to happen. Now, one little organizational thing that I do want to do is that, if possible, have the identifying tag either on the box itself or on the cardboard box sticking out facing forward so that if I'm searching for something, it's easier to see the tags on the boxes. Dreyfus Hudson. It's a giant box. GG1 Express freight set. Noisy le sec. <laughs> oh yeah, the good old triplex. Hopefully Lionel is gonna come out with a vision line triplex soon. There's the giant box for the tin plate big brute. And let's not forget the big boy. Geez, I forgot how big that GS4 box was. Well, wow. another big box, the number 80 coal turbine and the good old Coors Light silver bullet train. Okay, so at this point, I think we have most of the MTH and the tin plate stuff over. And now we're starting to load some of the Atlas stuff in here. A few more MTH things came over, a few more tin plate. Now we've got most of the Atlas stuff and some Menard stuff as well. Vision line class A. What do we got here? The pacemaker freight car set, UP4122. Got the New York Central Explorer set. A whole bunch of stuff. Got some ES44s over here. That's part of the Lincoln funeral train. Pennsylvania M1A coal hauler set, got another ES44, Empire State Express set. There's the newer ACMW stuff. We've kind of got a system in place now. Lisa's over in the other space loading up the carts and then I unload them. <laughs> oh, and here comes Lisa with another cart. How are we looking down there? <laughs> Tank train set, I always like this box. And it's an awesome set as well. We're in the Lionel space now, and Lisa's bringing a bunch of Lionel stuff down. Just kind of laying it all out, and then once we've got it all down here, we'll start to sort it by box size so that we can stack these things as efficiently as possible. Because, as you know, most train boxes are non-standard sizes. They come in all different shapes and sizes, <laughs> and so you can't just stack them without giving it some thought. You kind of have to plan it out, but that's what we'll be doing in just a little bit. Lisa's <laughs> making pretty good headway. <laughs> Still got a whole lot more boxes, but we're getting there. We're trying to get the bigger boxes first because those are going to go on the bottom. But unfortunately, to get to the big boxes, we have to get rid of all the small boxes first to get down to those big ones that are way down there. So <laughs> that's what she's busy doing. Auto carrier set, Vision Line Stock Express. Look at that, the big Pocahontas set. <laughs> well, we just got back from lunch. And uh, we've been working at this for about, I don't know what, an hour and a half, yeah. two hours. And we've still got all this left to move over. And by the way, <laughs> the crazy thing about this, this is not all of the boxes that I have. These are only locomotives and passenger car boxes. The only freight car boxes in here are those that came with sets. And so the set boxes in here but individual pieces of freight rolling stock, those are not in storage because, you know, I changed those out a lot. So I need those boxes at the house. So yeah, this does not represent all the boxes I have. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, we're gonna get back to it. George H.W. Bush funeral train, the Lionel scale state set. F3 freight conventional classic set. I don't think I've ever done a video on this set. Couple vision line challengers. We got this box. I wonder if this is the ZWL box. Oh yeah, ZWL. There it is. <laughs> uh, good old BNSF ice cold express set. And here comes Lisa with the last cart. 
Finally did it. MPC GG1. All right, and we are done. So Lionel over here, this is all Lionel. And then over here, we've got the Menards Atlas tin plate, both MTH and Lionel corporate tin plate, which is MTH. And then MTH over here, along with the few Weaver and third rail models that I have. Plenty of extra room in here, as you can see. And plenty of room in the Lionel room. <laughs> so I've got all the typically diesel boxes over here. And then set boxes are kind of back here. These are all steam locomotives or, you know, AAF unit sets where they have a wide box. And then passenger cars are over here, along with the literally two boxes of freight cars. The rest, the rest of the freight boxes are at my house, like I said. So now that I know what we're working with and how much space we have, you know, I might rearrange and organize a little better, but for now, that's going to be fine. I mean, eventually this will fill up, believe me. So I'll probably have a few aisles going through here, but yeah, you just try to get in as much as you can. It's kind of like a combination of Jenga and Tetris is what I, that's what I told Lisa. So, uh, but yeah, plenty of space now and uh, even more space over in this room. So I'm sure eventually, you know, I'll continue to put MTH and Atlas stuff in here, but I'm sure one day some of the Lionel stuff might spill over into here. But for now, we've got plenty of room to grow. So really happy with it. That was a workout too. I'm, I'm all sweaty. So <laughs> I think Lisa is too. We're going to get a couple of nice showers now. So that's going to do it for now. Hope you enjoyed this. Might be a little boring compared to what you usually want in a train video. But uh, I thought it would be interesting for people who were curious about where all the boxes go. So now you know. And that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully that worked. We'll see. <laughs>